Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Friday, 1st of March. Already in the third month, 2019. Amazing. Uh, let's get right to it. A couple of interesting things happened yesterday. Uh, as we as we predicted, uh, the Boons were driving the bus yesterday. So let's take a look at this Boons chart. Wednesday they broke uh, 88. We fluffed around and we made this uh, marginal high here of uh, what was that 97, 165, 97. But then we continued on our downward trajectory. Once we got through 55, yeah, which was Wednesday's low, uh, we printed all the way down to 165.18. This, of course, uh, got us paid in Euro Yen. Euro Yen has now broken out to the top side. We talked about this yesterday, saying this is one of those really awkward uh, trades that nobody has on because Europe is limping around and the economic indicators are so bad. Uh, and everyone just got caught short. Booms went lower. Voila, here we are, 127.04. We squared our stuff up last night and sat at uh, 126.75 in the tactical book. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the point is this. We have European data again today. German retail sales. Uh, Spanish, Italian, French, and German PMI plus German employment. Um, Italian employment. European-wide PMI. <laughs> core CPI, loads of European data today. Uh, what you want to do is just watch how Boons react. Um, if Boons continue their trajectory downward, we're going to see this Eurian continue higher. Uh, if Boons reverse, uh, we'll see Eurian reverse. Um, the other corollary to that is dollar yen. U.S. Uh, bonds also got smacked. It looks like the market's caught long fixed income. So, this is really important um, because for 16 days we were on the 110 handle just fluffing around. Uh, now we're through this 200 day, which comes in at 111.30. This is a buy on dip today. So, uh, we will be sticking our, sticking our toes in the water, 62, 52, 42 um, for dollar yen higher today. It's been a long time since this has moved, uh, so a lot of people will be slow to get on this move. Um, but we think this is very significant. There's no real resistance until 1.12.25. So, you know, we've already, we're already up three-tenths of a percent. You can figure the range today is going to be... You know, we've already printed the low 111.32. The range today is probably going to be 32.92 or something like that. So, with those parameters in mind, we want to try and stick uh, a bit in towards the lower end of that range. We're going to look at Euro Dollar here real quick. Um, very interesting bar yesterday. The 114.03 yielded about. 16 pips, it went up to about 19, I think the high, exact high at 19.6, but then failed with the positive GDP and the, and the higher, higher dollar yen sort of forced this thing down. That is a uh, pretty bearish bar here. So, if um, this data in Europe comes in negative, um, rather than buy boons, you probably should be selling euro dollar, uh, and this will probably tip off with any kind of print below the low. So we have this big long tail and a doji. This is a classic turn bar, and so if we get price action below 113.60, uh, the downside in euro dollar uh, is in play. The unfortunate part about this chart is we're right back into the range, so. So selling 113.59s, don't expect this thing to fall out of bed. Uh, there's going to be loads of congestion here in between this sort of 1, 112.50 1, 
1550 range we're really dead dead smack in the middle but if we do see a new low on the dailies you could argue for um, core short uh, a conservative core short so it's a tradable short you want to get a good average um, and try and protect yourself from like silly intraday moves something to watch uh, especially because we have all of this euro data just gonna pop into crude here real quick uh, we're bearish crude I think we're always bearish crude which is a, which is definitely a problem um, we don't have a position in crude but we're just watching it as we always do this is a very very important level 5788 um, 5781 was the high, 22 Feb. Um, this was 5796. So let's just call 58 bucks. If we clear 58 bucks, crude is um, got a lot of fresh air up there. Uh, now, mind you, we're bearish crude. Uh, we would be gleeful sellers if we saw any kind of uh, reason to sell. But these bars are very constructive, so we're not. We're not in the mood to sell, and we're not going to sell high ones with this breakout sort of pending. Um, I don't, not really recommending a trade here, as you can see, but I just want to point out that this is a super important level, uh, and of course, this will drive Dollar Canada. This will drive the risk metrics. So if you see crude cruising through 58 bucks, uh, you know stocks will march higher a little bit and since we're bearish stocks it just is it's it's just a signal to say hold off on adding to shorts or maybe churn some of your position to get a better average stocks obviously haven't done too much in the last five days we basically an 80 figure um, today you know we're looking for this sort of 8505 type of trade um, again, you can buy in the mid 80s uh, and you can sell up in the 05 area trying to get a better average so you can withstand what looks like now this inevitable move up through 2820 um, to stop out a lot of the weak hands. Anyway, Euros are focused today. Uh, we'll be watching this data and dollar yen were buyers on dips today said enough and I wish you all good trading and much much profits. Ciao.